In Flash, you can create a tween, which will make animation a lot simpler. But I want to show you how to create a motion guide for the tween that you create. I'm going to go ahead and create new Flash file, ActionScript 3.0. Now, on the stage, well, first of all, before I get started, it's a good idea to save what you're doing. That way, if your computer crashes, you always have a copy. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to save mine to the desktop. Go ahead and save yours in your designated folder. Actually, I have a folder here called Flash, and I'm going to call it Miller dash motion guide. I'm going to click save. And I'm going to rename my layer. Naming your layers is essential to organization inside of Flash. To rename it, I double click on it and I type in the layer I want to call this moving object. And I'm going to now create an object. I'm just going to click on an oval, draw it up here. Notice how it fills in the keyframe. I'm going to click on frame 24, insert a new keyframe by pressing F6. Now I want to create a motion tween. So I click anywhere in between the two keyframes. I click create, I right click and then I click create motion tween. On the last frame, I'm going to select the object and move it down to the end. And you can see here I have the motion. Now let's say I wanted this this motion guide to follow a specific path. What I'm going to do is create a motion guide for this motion tween. I click on this icon here, add motion guide. This motion guide comes up with a blank keyframe that fills the entire area. I'm then going to grab the pencil tool or one of the other drawing tools and I'm going to draw the shape I want this motion to follow. So I click here and I have my nice shape. What I'm going to do now is click on the first frame and select my object on the first frame inside the moving object. Now when I click and drag it over the line, notice how it kind of snaps right to that line. I'm going to drag it and make sure it's still connected to that line. That's the starting point. Now I'm going to click on the last keyframe and do the same thing and drag and get this to snap to the line. Now, if I scrub through, you can see that my object is going to follow this path. If I press enter, notice how my object follows that path and it keeps going around. Now, this line may be obtrusive to your design, to what you want, so I'm going to turn off this line by simply turning the dot off underneath the eye. Now, I have my motion or my object that follows the path. Go ahead and save this FLA, create an SWF, and upload both files. Now thinking ahead, some things that you might consider doing. Now you can add a tween to this image. Maybe you can add a background image where you have this object following maybe a path on a, a street, or uh, maybe you make something rotating and following around. Uh, you can also nest uh, moving images inside here. We'll talk about how to do that later on.